Okay? Uh, our first chapter in college algebra or algebra is sets and logic. Okay? The objective of this topic is uh, to be able to identify a set, elements, and kinds of sets. To be able, uh, next is to be able to determine the cardinality of sets. Okay, first, what is set? What is set? Okay. Set is a well-defined collection collection list or group of distinct Objects or symbols. Symbols. It uh, it is usually denoted by capital letter of the English alphabet. Okay. Denoted by capital letter of the alphabet okay so maybe you already memorize those letters in alphabet okay example okay. examples we have w okay. w so what is what is uh, w okay so w is a set which is the set example the set of whole number one two ten okay so that's it that's a set okay next is Next is we have next we have element of set okay. element of set uh, an element an element is an object or symbol object or symbol object or symbol which belongs to set which belongs to set and is denoted and is denoted by ganitong symbol like this symbol like this okay. so that is element of a set. Okay, example. Example, we have an element given a given, we have a given uh, A. This is a set which is brace 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Okay. This one, two, one, three, five, seven, and nine is element of A. So we can read this as sample A. Sample, yeah. So we can read this one. Uh, one, that's one, A reads as. 1 is element of A. Okay. Or, 
also you can read that also with uh, like this one belongs to a so on so that this three also belongs to a this five also belongs to a seven also belongs to a nine also belongs to a okay so that's it but if you will say but if you will say there is a 10 uh no no there was uh for example example b 10 is not an element of a okay 10 is not 10 is not element of a because 10 is not belong to, belongs here okay because there's no 10 here that's it okay. next we have next we have cardinality of set cardinality of set so what does the, what does it mean by cardinality of a set? Okay. Cardinality of a set is the number of elements. Number of elements of a set. and denoted by example set A for example set A okay? the number of elements of a set A example and denoted by N close or open parenthesis A Okay. Example. And this read as cardinality of the cardinality of A. Okay. Example. Example. Set B. Equals 2, 4, 6, 8. So what will be the cardinality of set P? Okay. So, cardinality of set B will be N D uh, You count the number of elements. So, that is the cardinality of set B. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that is the cardinality is equal to 4. So, that's it. Next, we have We have Next is Empty set. Okay. Empty set. Or null set. Okay. Null set is... Um, which means we ha uh, empty set or null set is... Definitely mean... Uh, set. Which as... No, no, no. No, no, no. Wrong. Uh, ah, okay. Set is set set which which has has no element. Right. So definitely it is empty. Right. Denoted by right. denoted or the symbol is like that one that one or that okay so that's empty so maybe your lab life has empty set that's it Next, we have Next, 
Next, we have finite set. So, what does it mean by finite set? Finite set. What does it mean? A finite set is a set is finite, uh, finite if it is empty or the elements in the set can be counted and the counting process must come to an end. So, in Tagalog, uh, may katapusan. Okay? There's an end. Okay? That's finite set. For example, we have There is an end to the counting of the element. Okay. Example, we have set W is, we have that one. So that is empty. So may katapusan. Okay. There's an end. Uh, set Z, we have your love life. May katapusan. Okay? That's an ending. That's, that's a joke. Okay? We can make it true. L O V L I F Okay? Okay. 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 This is a finite set because there's an ending. Okay? There's no you can you can count, okay? You can count the elements. That's finite set. Next we have Next we have infinite set. Okay? infinite set. Infinite set. Of course, from the word infinite it said it means not finite. Okay? So there's no ending. Okay? There's no ending to, to that set. Example, infinity. Okay? Example. Example. We have example 1. S. The set of stars. Okay? In the universe. Okay. You cannot count the set of stars in the universe. So that's why it is infinite. Okay. Example also, the set of counting numbers. Okay. Set of counting numbers, you cannot... Uh, there's no end to counting numbers. Okay. That's it. Next, we have Next, we have Universal Set What does it mean by Universal Set? Universal Set is the set containing all the elements of the sets under discussion and is, and is denoted by denoted by bit letter U na malaki. Or, pwede yung ganyan lang. Okay? Depende, okay? It depends upon you. Example, U. A, B, C, D, E. For example, okay? Okay? But, on that U, we have, on that universal set, we have also set A, which is the element are A, B. Okay? Also, letter set B. The element is D, E. And uh, set C, the element is also C. Okay? okay? Always remember that sets are denoted by capital letter and the element is small letter. So that's it. This A, B, C is belongs to universal set. Okay? 
Next, we have the application of that universal set in Venn diagram. So, what does it mean by Venn diagram? Usually, Venn diagram is applicable in your exam in civil service or other eligibility like National Police Commission services. There's a problem in Venn diagram. There's a problem uh, involving Venn diagram. Oh, what's this, uh, what does it mean by Venn diagram? Venn diagram is a pictorial representation of relation, relationships between sets. The universal, the universal set U, like we discussed let, uh, a while ago, is represented by a rectangle. And the subsets of U are represented by closed figure like circles, triangles, or squares within the U. For example, this is your universal set. This is your U. We have a subset of circle, rectangle, for example, and another square, for example. Okay. So this is, for example, this is A. This is set A. This is set B. This is set C. Okay. So example, you have... Universal set is you have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, for example. Okay. But we have A is, the element of A is 1 and 3. Element of B is 2 and 3. Okay. Then, Element of C is uh, 2N, 4N, 5. Okay. Okay. So, the A is 1 okay. and 3. Okay. That's it. So, B is 2 and 3. Okay. So, 2 here. And the 3 is here. Okay. 2 and 3. Next, we have set C is 2, 4, 5. No, no, no. There, the 2 must be here. Okay? Because it is also belongs to C. Okay? Then, 4 and 5. So that's universal set. Okay? That's, that's it for today. Thank you, class.